Mr. President, in 2009, the SIU, in fact, found an improper and a corrupt relationship between government officials and the Bosasa Group. For the past 15 years, Bosasa has gleaned contracts well over 12 billion rands from various government departments. In fact, in 2013, Treasury sought to cancel all contracts with Bosasa and have the company blacklisted. But your now current campaign manager for CR17, Mr. Pravin Godan, was then the fundraising, in his fundraising effort, would have known that because he was the finance minister at the time. Mr. President, in my hand, I'm holding a letter that was sent by your party, the ANC, saying to Busasa, we want to express our sincere appreciation and gratitude to your organization for this donation and the continued financial support to the organization that is the ANC. Now, Mr. President, you've your organization has received three million rands. You were deputy president of the ANC at the time. I want to remind you of the basics in law. If you are in possession of money deemed from criminal activities, that is also a crime. So what I want to know, Mr. President, will you undertake today to ensure that the ANC repays to the fiscus all the money received from Bosasa for the past 15 years as those monies were in fact derived from proceeds of corruption. Will you commit to the people of this country? Mr. President. Honorable, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. One of the, one of the, observations that were made by the public protector against me was that when men, uh, uh, honorable I almost said minister not yet and maybe never to be I um, when, when honorable Maimani played the same sort of gimmick the last time the public protector in one of the paragraphs in the report said Mr. President when that was done to you you should have actually asked for the copy and said I'd like to reflect on it and I'll deal with it later and she said that's what you should have done she and I differ on uh, uh, outcomes and uh, conclusions but on this, on this, in this case, I want to take her counsel and say to Honorable Maimani, please give me that letter and I will reflect on it. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Order members. Madam Speaker. Order! 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 The Honourable Stain here you are on your feet. Madam Speaker, it was a supplementary question. It's only two paragraphs long. We don't mind waiting while the President reads and he can then answer. <laughs> no, Honourable Stain -Hazen. The President responded by saying, I want to take time to look at what you are presenting. So, can we proceed? On, uh, uh, Honorable Maimani, you can't have a second bite at a No, it's not a second bite. You are making it level. I, I, I just want clarity. The president has committed to get back to this house. I'd yes, like he to will. Know when. Honorable members, no, 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 no. I heard somebody say Mbusuga. Uh, that is completely out. Please don't use that language here. Yeah? We will not degenerate. Honorable Maimani. Um, Honourable President, can you put a date? No, no, Honourable Speaker, I said I will go back to Honourable Maimani. That's what I said. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Thank you. Honourable Maimani, we will undertake to follow up on your behalf on when this response to your question comes. Thank you.